Hello all you hardcore boxing fans out there, how you doing? There you go. It's Big Porky here, the voice of hardcore boxing. And I'm just uh, on my way to see the chaps or one of my pals, Paul. Got in touch with me through social media. And uh, he's going to give me free snooker lessons. And he's got me a cue. And do you know what? I don't want no for it. How's about that, eh? There is good people in the world after all. Eh? There is good people in the world after all, so how's about that? Uh, so I'm going to give him a game. Obviously he's had 140 breaks and that, so he's going to be a lot better than me. But, uh, if I can add... 20% to my game, it'd be better. You know, it'd be, it'd be nice to throw all balls on the table and pot 20 without missing. Instead of potting, you know, 10 or 12 and then messing up, going for some wild shot. <laughs> I don't think I'd have made it as a snooker player. I'm always trying to, I'm always trying to do stuff with cue ball that looks good but you run out of position don't you see the secret with snooker is you've got to keep the ball on a string the greatest snooker break under pressure ever made was a 69 break by Alex Higgins against Jimmy White in 1982 the greatest ever break under pressure one miss and he's out at tournament he cleans up he takes it to a decider Gets to the final, plays Ray Reed and wins. That's what happened. But the shots that he pulled off in that, you want to Google Alex Higgins genius YouTube and uh, and just watch, just watch his. It's an eight-minute video, but if you ever get a chance to watch that 69 legendary break, it's unbelievable. You're talking 18 shots pressure shots but nine of them nine of the 18 shots were off the charts and I mean off the charts so off, the route is being calculated off the charts and uh, please turn right in pressure does funny things to you a six zero two for example immediately turn left what are you doing here mate go on then uh, uh, for example if you're playing Sony with for 50 quid and you need and you no, need you need right brown blue and pink and black to win left. right brown blue pink and black to win right if you're not playing for any money and then balls aren't on spot and they're not on cushions, you'll mop them up easy if you're a decent club player. But but if you're under pressure and you need that 50 quid or you're just feeling it, it's amazing how tight you'll get. Just over a few quid. Like that, and that's what it does to you. But uh, getting back to the boxing. Uh, I saw Eddie Hearn's tweet, whether it's real or not, I don't know, it was put up and then took down but somebody sent me a screenshot of it saying that Yukada have had the officers broken into and Dillian White's going to put a statement out following day on 20th. Uh, if that has come from Eddie Hearn, it wouldn't be the first time that Eddie has put fake news out there. Do you remember when he did that interview? with Ingram Jones and he made out he was some manager of some guy or something and it was just to throw people off the scent and Eddie gets his kicks out of that because we all know Eddie were a bully at school don't we so Eddie get that's how Eddie gets his kicks because he can't hang with real people can he like gangsters and criminals and stuff like that he can knock about with them but he don't want to get too close does he and if, the, if Eddie's put that out and then took it off well that's about his barrer innit but 
I think it's I think it's fake news. Uh, somebody who I know close to him told me it was fake news. So you've got to take it at that. But <laughs> if you want your car valeting, go to Coco's at Cunningsborough, opposite Moat House Way. DN12 3GE. Get your car done at, at Coco's. I know he's nicked my uh, ah. He's nicked my uh, phone lead. But I've got plenty of them. Woo! I'll put that down there like that. Look at them boys there. Woo! -hoo -hoo! They're all over the place. Hey. They're never there when you want them, are they? You know, when your grandma gets burgled, you ring them, they take 45 minutes to come out, don't they? And then just when you've had a beer and you're coming out at the pub, they're there, aren't they? They're up your arse. The blue line. But getting back to that, if Eddie's put that out, well, it's in bad taste, isn't it? If he, so let's break it down. If he did put it out, and then took it down after a few hours, why would they put something out, out like that? Because, trust me, if your car would have been broken into and that B sample gone, could you imagine all the media? How would they question Eddie about that? How would Coogie Bear, Michelle Joy Phelps, Rob Tebbert, the three musketeers, Rob Tebbert will like me putting, them in, putting him in that bracket. How would the three musketeers how Please would take the second exit at all. the roundabout onto the A6023? How would they ask them questions to Eduardo? How? They wouldn't ask him, would they? Whereas I'd say, listen, you're having a laugh, aren't you? You are having a laugh. It's gone missing. Pull the other one, it's got bells on it. Pull the other now one, it's exit got the roundabout. bell use on it. But, you know, as far as I'm concerned, look at me here late again, I'm always late. As far as I'm concerned, they've got to sit and wait it out, haven't they? But that's what they're going to do. And they're going to throw as much stick, they're going to throw as much PR as they can over the next year, because it'll be a year. Oh, you can bet your bottom dollar it'll be at least a year. They're going to throw as much mud and whatever at it so that it plays with all your minds and then it goes away because that's what I do that's what I'd do if I were them because they've got to do aren't they what are you doing you numpty pulling out on me don't you know who I am Jesus but uh, I'm trying to think which is the best way to get to WAF now. Where's it taking me this? I'm gonna WAF. People do strange things in WAF. And I've not got a weapon with me. Well, I am a weapon, aren't I? I'm a prick. I am a prick. What can you do? Nicola, Please put that picture in of me. Exit at the roundabout. That photograph. Six zero two three. Slip that insert in, Nick, where it says I'm a prick. When I'm in my lever when I'm about 23 stone. I will five stone into my diet. Diet. Take the first exit. Band. But yeah, it's in bad taste if he did that. If he didn't do that, who would do such a thing? And how would they manage to get that out? Ah. No look. Oh, I know that's sad we come to. Where am I going here, man? Go on then. Uh, yeah, why would somebody do such a thing? And how would they get Eddie Hearn's Twitter? It's got more moving parts than. I don't know what. Got a Michael Barrymore barbecue. That ain't bad taste, that. Barrymore joke. I just think that. It's, how, how can they put something like that out? What have we got here? Please 
Look at these, they're all over the place, aren't they? Look, roadblocks everywhere. Six zero two. Throw you down there like that. Now take the third exit. Better to be safe than sorry, that's what I always say. What do you reckon about that, Steffi? Better to be safe than sorry? Hashtag levels. Shout out to Mick Whale, how are you doing? You didn't come and see me? Shout out to Josh Whale, looking good in gym I've heard. Shout out to Dave Allen, drove by him yesterday. Stood there. Middle of Cunnings, bro, waiting for a lift. Can't even walk one mile to the gym. Get walking, Dave, it'll warm you up. Don't waste your talent. Look at these here, my locked door around here, man, might rob me. Yeah, so, fake news, isn't it? Fake news, but is it? Did they put it out? Did they put it out? Well, something's gone on, hasn't it? They're not admitting it, whatever it is, are they? They're not admitting it at all. But I just think that we're five weeks now, aren't we? By the time this video goes out, knowing how slow we are, Nicola, you need to get these videos out quicker. Quicker. People are complaining. Look at that, 123.9 diesel there. Unbelievable, a couple of days after I fill up. Gone down 4p. Unless that's because it's WAF and it's a poor area. 4p. So it's 4p deer in, in Edlow. So Edlow must be posher than WAF. But now we're uh, getting back to uh, Getting back to this B, B sample stuff. Look, it's five week, in it today since the 17th. Five weeks, right? So please take the second exit at the roundabout. Five week gone, no B sample. Jarrell Miller's took four days. Frank Warren had one. Paid 400 quid four days. Now, is it six week to Australia on a boat? No. Take the second exit. You can go to Australia on a boat over f six weeks. I'm sure it's six weeks. This way, isn't it? Six week, right? So if that's six week, well, we're five week now. So Dillian White's B sample, if it's going to Australia, we'll probably be just going by. We'll just be approaching New Zealand, then, won't it? Because if it's six week to Australia on QE2. We're five weeks now, aren't we? But yet, Jarrell Millers, because they knew we'd been bang at it and he were a previous cheat, they got his test in four days. And then Eddie proceeded to throw him under a bus. Are we going to have the same scenario as the Kenny Anderson fight, where he tested positive for amphetamine to help him make weight? Are we going to have the same problem as the Kenny Anderson fight? I'm starting to wonder because Robin Reed didn't get to find out about that for months and months and months and when he did find out it was off Kenny Anderson's team it weren't off the promoter Eduardo John Hearn was it? Shout out Eddie Hearn, alright Eddie? Shout out to Brick Top bet you're loving all this aren't you Brick Top bet you're loving it right let me, just, let me just ring my Please here. take the second exit at the roundabout onto Biscayne Way. Oh no, I've got my phone turned off. Exit. 
One thing about WAF, they don't put speed cameras around here, do they? People put bin liners on them, don't they? Or textile sores to them. I'm not saying it's right to break the law and do things like that, but... But, you know, it is what it is, isn't it? It's one of them things, isn't it? Not a speed camera inside. Watch me, watch me cop for a speed camera now. Got me round here, hasn't it? Let's have a look. But yes, it's uh, Please turn right in 200 yards onto Northern Road. Then you will have reached your destination. Uh, it's looking a bit grim for Dillian White, isn't it? Now five months, but will they wiggle we'll out of it? Well, if you if now you, turn right, then you will have reached if you your caught, destination. If you caught bang to rise, you just got to drag it out, haven't you? Left. You've just got to drag it out. Right, peace out, keep on trucking, keep sporting boxing. Uh, I'm not just going to put this out as a full video because it's just been pretty crap this first bit here, but we'll jazz it all up a bit later. All right, this is just an appetizer, so I'll add something to this for you. All right, I mean, who wants to know I'm going for a game in snooker? Well, I just wanted to touch on the that fake news, bit of fake news. Uh, there, I have got something coming out that's a corker that, we've, that I've done. And my, my job's done. I've finished it. I'm just waiting for uh, waiting for the some to just to jazz it up a little bit, bit of uploading, and so yeah, it's got that little bit of polish to it. My job's done, but you'll enjoy that one. Well, that's a corker. All right. So peace out. Keep on trucking.